Well, hey there, creators. Welcome back. Uh, this is a part two of making the binder cover for my son. So uh, today we're doing the uh, inserts, the, the flaps uh, that go over the two sides of the binder. And right now what I'm doing is I'm laying out um, how it's going to go. And as you can see here, I did add on extra um, fabric to the pieces that I had made uh, too small. So if you haven't seen uh, my the part one, I'll leave a card pop up um, to the part one uh, of this binder. So and some of these I've also uh, s uh, put a you know seam down um, to make it more polished edge, and some of them still need to be done. So yeah. So I'm liking this and that's how I want it to be and now I'll sew down and uh, create the hems for those which I've just done it just popped in <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is start cutting out the uh, elastic for the little uh, elastic pouch that's going on the other on that uh, flap and so with the elastic I'm cutting it to just just below, just not quite as long as the uh, width of the flap. Um, in fact, I could have actually made it a little bit smaller than that. Just, you know, so it's nice and tight because you don't want it to be too loose. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm marking the middle and I'm marking the quarters of the elastic. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the fabric itself. I put a mark uh, in the middle and then a mark uh, on the two uh, end quarters. So right here I'm folding the fabric in half and uh, putting, getting a mark. <laughs> and um, this is just a regular gel pen. No one's going to see this so I'm not too worried about it. And then uh, I fold to the, that middle line and I mark the quarters. So now we're at the sewing machine and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up all those lines that I put on the elastic and the, uh, the fabric and sew them together. And I'm doing a straight stitch uh, back and forth over it starting in the middle and then doing the very end which the very end is not marked um, but it doesn't need to be it's just the very end. And then I'm uh, sewing down the elastic on the uh, quarter lines as well. And what this does is it just helps keep the elastic still when I'm uh, sewing the, that flap over, when I'm enclosing the elastic in the material, um, it just makes it so that it stays flat. And there we go, there it's all stretchy and ready to be sewn down. So the, this is a bit of a tricky part um, and that's why I do the uh, sewing it in, uh, you know, in sections like that because it just makes it easier to do, to sew down the fabric over. See there's a lot of me, this is even sped up and there's a lot of me fidgeting with it because it, it is quite difficult because you have to hold it, you have to hold it um, taut, you know, stretched out. and. Uh, yeah, and it, you know, it, it's easy to uh, lose control of it, and so that's why I put the uh, the sewing down in the sections because it just makes it a little bit easier, it makes this this tricky uh, business of sewing down elastic just a little bit easier. And you know, if you can do something that makes life a little easier, then <laughs> I'm all for it. You know. So now we're at the point where where we have to uh, sew it onto the uh, canvas flap. And to do this, we sew it down. Um, whatever's going to show up on top, go. It's we face everything together, face everything down, um, and 
uh, whatever's going to be shown at the top gets put down first and then I reorganize how I'm doing it, making sure things are not going to be cut, up, cut off, making sure we can see the embroidery, we can see all the fabric and everything is straight and even. And now I'm um, pinning down, um, and in fact, I just realized that I was pinning it on the wrong side. <laughs> you gotta make sure you do it on the right side there, um, or correct side, not right side. It depends on which flap it is. But yeah, so I sew down, or I'm pinning down just one side, and then I'm turning it that way to make sure everything's correct, because once we flip it around, um, that's how it's going to look. So then I put a few last pins in on the other side so that the fabric stays still and then I sew down that one line and there it is it's sewn down remove the other pins flip it around just to make sure everything's um, in order everything's straight and looks correct and it does <laughs> and then I flip it back around and uh, I'm going to be cutting off the excess right now <laughs> So, yep, and cutting off the excess, and then um, once the excess is cut off, I will flip that back around and pin it down again and just do a top stitch over everything to make sure everything is um, stayed down flat. So, there we go, and then there we go, pinning there and just making sure everything stays flat, everything's... Um, Good to go and then I sew down that area and then that flap is done for now so this flap is done now you can see the top stitch over it so it's nice and neat now I'm going to be working on the other pouch or the other uh, flap now um, the pouch here uh, that's going to be um, in the front part before I put that down first be, uh, well right now I'm, I'm marking the middle line um, just so that I can line up the pouch with the center of the flap um, because before if in the previous video I marked the very center of the flap and uh, that just helped me to also line it up to where it needed to go on the uh, flap itself um, so uh, instead of putting the uh, flap down first, what I actually need to do is I need to sew it onto the fabric that's behind it. Because um, the, the pouch here is not going to, um, there's not going to be uh, an opening behind it. Um, it needs to be sewn to the, the, that Doctor Who fabric that's behind it. And there I go, I sewed it down. We can see the line there. It's connected to that Doctor Who fabric. And so now this whole part is now the uh, first uh, pocket, the first flap of this, um, of this uh, flap. So, <laughs> so I put the, um, the zipper in the middle so that when I sew down each side when it's in there, uh, the zipper's not in the way. So that's why I did that. Um, yeah, so um, I know I'm a little bit out of frame here, trying not to be, but um, so now I have, I'm just laying that down and uh, putting that flap down first and then the other uh, side will go down um, the fabric that's going to be behind it. There we go, the star fabric. And then um, just like with the other one, I, I pin down one side, but I, it's the opposite side because it's the opposite flap. So. Yeah, so I pinned down one side and then that side's going to be sewn down and uh, the excess is trimmed off, flipped around. All right, so I guess I'm gonna show <laughs> the part where I sewed, sewed it down. So yeah, so I'm just sewing a straight line um, down the flap here, connecting all, the, uh, all, the, all of the fabric together.
All right, wasn't that exciting? <laughs> so now we're at the point where we have to sew the flaps down to the cover. And so, of course, everything's got to, since it's going to be flipped around, um, the, we have to have uh, right sides facing each other. And I'm testing out uh, how it's going to fit in here with the, um, the binder itself. Um, and since the one side, uh, since this type of binder has the rings not exactly in the center, it's on one of the sides of the, um, of the uh, covers of the binder itself. Uh, that means that the flap that's going to be on that side needs to be a little bit further off. And I did plan for that accordingly. Um, so uh, I made sure that it was going, you know, everything that's going to be on that side would fit. And so right now I'm taking a gel pen basically and I'm just marking out roughly where the uh, thing is, where the uh, edges of the binder are at. And I'm not marking the part where we're going to see. I'm only marking the areas where uh, it's going to be hidden. Now this is not um, exactly where my line is going to be where I sew. And that's what I'm marking right now. I'm putting uh, uh, an arrow up and saying one half inch, basically saying the top and bottom uh, I'm adding half an inch to the seam, um, so to go up half an inch. Now on the sides, it's basically going to be right about where the, the I marked that line. Now what the but before I sew down the flaps, what I have to do is um, put the uh, put together the um, the zipper that's going to go all the way around. Now this it was a new venture for me because uh, I have not I've made lots of binder covers before, but I haven't uh, made one that had a zipper all the way around. So this was definitely um, interesting. There was a lot of brainstorming on my part, figuring out how I'm going to do it. So um, I'm I just sewed down the two pieces of the red uh, fabric. And now I'm laying it flat um, with that seam open like that, and I'm uh, laying the zipper down. Well, not like that. I have to turn it, turn the zipper around. I just realized it, <laughs> and turn it down, face down on there, and basically line up the middle of the zipper with the seam there, and um, then pin down all along the side. And then I'm going to sew the zipper down flat to the. Um, um, to the uh, fabric, to the overlap of where the seam was. And then once uh, the seam, yep, once the zipper's down, sewn on there, um, you can see it's an, basically a big rectangle that I've sewn around the zipper. Now I'm taking the um, uh, seam ripper and I'm taking that middle seam and uh, ripping out the seam itself so that the zipper will show through. And that's basically how you put a zipper in. All right, so the zipper is all together now um, and it works perfectly, so there we go. So now, this part was definitely very challenging. Um, I've, I've got to lay down the zipper correctly and I, I'm uh, trying out different ways and realizing that I have to lay it down that way, <laughs> face down like that. And I have the zipper open just so that it's easier to um, hold on to it and now I'm pinning it in place uh, basically exactly where I'm going to be sewing which was about um, half an inch up and uh, from the initial line and now I'm s I'm sewing one side at a time normally when I make these binder covers I sew all around um, together um, all at one one sitting but because the zipper ha takes a lot of readjustment, I'm having to do just one side at a time. So I'm almost done with this side. And um, yep, and then I'm going to pull it out. And here I am, I have to start readjusting um, the zipper now for the other side. And this was quite tricky because um, uh, when you're folding it over, there's, um, 
it bunches up quite a bit. So right now I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> There's a lot of fidgeting going on, trying to like readjusting here, readjusting there, um, placing that. And here, here we go. When I'm putting in the ed like folding the edge part, that's where. Um, there's a big lump right here, right there. So I do uh, pin that down a little bit to keep it still, and but I have to pin it in a way that it's not going to be in the way of the sewing machine when I'm sewing. So I've, I've got to pin it way off in the corner and hopefully that stays put, and it does. So I get um, those three sides done, and now I'm at the middle part. And this was a bit tricky too because I want to try to get that zipper as close to the middle of that um, project as possible. And I'm not actually sewing the middle part yet. Um, I'm leaving that part open a bit. So I'm putting down flap two now and um, I've just sewn that side down um, and adjusting, making sure that's going on that side. And um, at, if you saw the, the back, the back of the cover there, I put the, that uh, Velcro fl flap inside the other one so it stayed out of the way when I sew down those sides. So yeah, this part is like a lot of fidgeting trying to <laughs> get the thing to stay still. Yes, and I was actually, um, this day I was full on sick. <laughs> I, that was so ridiculous, that cold that, you know, I got sick like two weeks ago and then got sick again and it was ridiculous. So now I've gotten all, uh, all the sides done. The very middle part, um, is not done because I'm going to be tucking, uh, the zipper in. But before I do that, I'm testing out to see if this is exactly how I want it, if everything looks correct before I trim off any excess. Um, so that's how you put a bind binder cover on, by the way. You turn the binder inside out and you just put both sides in. So I'm testing this part out. And remember, the zipper here is not fully sewn down, so the, the ends are still loose. But I'm just trying to see how, if this works and it looks like it does. So that makes me very happy. <laughs> so now I am going to unzip it and uh, turn it back inside out just like that. And now I'm cutting off all the excess. And there we go. So after I'm done trimming off the ends here, I'm going to uh, tuck in the flaps of the zippers um, inside underneath the lining material there. Um, and that will be the very last part that I sew down. Uh, first, I'm going to be sewing down a top stitch all the way around uh, the fabric, it's the, the um, binder cover itself, so it looks nice and professional. And here we are at the end. We'll, I'll put some live feed here and, um, and then some pictures at the end. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, later, creators. Bye.